Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on how to make your own metallic lipsticks. This metallic lip thing has become a trend lately and a lot of people are coming like and a lot of companies are coming out with their own version of the matte liquid lipstick or the matte lipstick, whatever the matte? The metallic liquid lipstick or the metallic lipstick, whatever. And I was just wondering if I could create a metallic lipstick on my own with the products that I own already. And the answer is yes. I tried several different um, ways to do it. Um, I haven't seen a lot of videos out there on how to do it. So I thought I'd make a video for you guys. Um, I found two ways that worked best for me. And I just wanted to share them with you guys so that you can also try them out and just see what you think. And just create your own metallic lipsticks. Because if it's a trend, we might as well try it out. So if you want to see how to get metallic lips with the products you already own, then make sure to keep watching. Okay, so yeah, excuse my lips right now, they're a little bit stained, but it doesn't matter because we're just about to cover them up. So the first tip I really like doing, I would only recommend this one with um, liquid lipsticks because it's about mixing in a, oh, it's about mixing in a pigment with a liquid lipstick so that it works best or that it makes a metallic finish so basically all you have to do is I've already did a swatch here this is basically what's gonna this is basically what the what our mixture is gonna look like on the lips but it's very very simple you just grab your liquid lipstick and your um, pigment of choice um, it can be like completely different to the actual liquid lipstick or it can be very similar. Mine is kind of similar. Um, not really, but it does make a very pretty look. And what I'm going to do, it's very simple. The only thing you need to do is just mix this pigment with the liquid lipstick. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. And I use a Q-tip, honestly. And I just apply some of this onto my hand. You can apply as much as you want to. And then I'm gonna go in with the liquid lip thing. And I'm just gonna apply, so it's basically mixing things, oof. And I'm gonna use a Q-tip and just mix them both together. And you can use as much as you want or as little as you want. And then I'm just gonna go back in and just basically... I don't know if this is gonna work, but um... And I'm just gonna basically apply the um, liquid lipstick, now that it's all mixed, onto my lips. Okay, so the application isn't perfect, but that is not what I was aiming at in this video. I just wanted to do it quick to show you guys. If you feel like it isn't metallic enough for you, you can always go in back in with the pigment and with a fluffy brush and just brush it on, on top, and that'll make it even more metallic. But sometimes it can hide the true color of the liquid lipstick, so you should be careful with that but you can do however you want. If you feel like it's missing, just go at it. And if you feel like you've added too much, then you can add a little bit more of like the liquid lipstick without anything else, just the actual formula. But to be honest with you, I really like how this, the metallicness of mine turned out. Mm, I think it looks pretty metallic, but it's still quite true to color. So I'm just gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. But anyways, that is trick number one. Now we can move on to trick number Okay, so now moving on to trick number two. Um, my lips are still a lot more stained now than they were before, but that is okay. It is not a problem. 
because we're just gonna cover it up anyways. So for this trick, I'm gonna use a neutral lip to like change things up and just show you you can do it with both. And this trick is even easier than the last one because, because there are less steps. So for this trick, all you're gonna have to do is grab a liquid lipstick or a normal lipstick, whatever you want. I would recommend liquid lipsticks or matte lipsticks to make it a lot easier. But for this trick, you can use whatever lipstick you want. And either grab a pigment, a highlighter, or an eyeshadow of your choice. Um, it would be better if it matched or if it was like in the similar color range so that it looks very cool and like it was meant to be there, you know. So for this, right now I'm just going to apply this lipstick and then I'll come back and show you what we're going to do to make it metallic. Okay, so now that we've applied it, what I'm going to do is grab a fluffy brush. It can be whatever fluffy brush, but it's better if it is fluffy so that it can distribute the product better. And I'm going to grab one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. And this one's in I'm Peachless. But first, I'm going to wait for this um, liquid lipstick to dry a little bit. The Revlon ones don't... Ooh, the Revlon ones don't dry out completely. So I'm just going to wait until it dries a little bit so that it'll make the process easier and then I'll show you what to do. Okay, so now that they're a bit more dry, oh, what's that? I'm going to go in, ooh, I'm going to go in with the I'm Peachless shadow and I'm just going to rub my brush all up on it. And being careful not to overdo it, we're just going to apply it on the lips, just that. If you feel like it is rubbing off, then you can totally pat it. I like to pat, and when I already put enough, and when I already put enough product, then I like to go in and sweep. And also be careful with the edges because we don't want to have like highlighter all over our mouth. I overdid it a little bit just so you guys can see how like how much you can put on and just so you can see how metallic it can really get and also right now I'm just gonna clean out I'm gonna zoom you guys in to be able to see the um, lipstick I'm sorry if you can see my dry lips I know they're not the cutest right now but see ya To show you guys, you could do this um, basically with any lip color and any eyeshadow. Like, it doesn't even need to be a highlighter or a pigment, it can be an eyeshadow. It's just as easy as that. And honestly, I feel like this second trick can work for any lipstick as long as you like dab. If it's more creamy, you can dab a bit off or like let it dry as much as you can before applying the product. And yeah, it's as simple as that. That is the second way that I like to use to make my lipsticks metallic so that was it for today's video you guys i really hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new and i really hope that you try these tips out and make sure that if you do comment below what you thought of them if they worked for you if they didn't or if you have any other tips to make your lipstick metallic also leave it in the comments below so that we can all learn from you um, I really, really do hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to never miss out on any more videos. Thank you guys. Bye.